Breaking news. NBC News has learned federal investigators have gathered enough evidence to bring charges in their investigation of President Donald Trump's former national security advisor and his son. It's part of the probe into Russia's intervention in the 2016 election, according to multiple sources familiar with the investigation. Let's bring in MSNBC contributor Howard Dean, former governor of Vermont and former DNC chairman, and Bruce Lavelle, executive director of the National Diversity Coalition for Trump and a member of President Trump's media advisory board. Bruce, I want to start uh, with your take on this uh, breaking uh, news. Has anything that you've heard at this stage uh, shifted your perspective on President Trump and the Trump administration? No, absolutely not. And thanks for having me, Kier. Here's one thing that kind of troubles me, like I said in the past. The, the, the point is we're, we're having this news cycle basically on something speculative. Rumor sources say that General Flynn and his son are going to be charged. Um, I can't speak for General Flynn and his son, but I will tell you this. This gets back to what President Trump has promised all the way during the campaign about pushing back and keeping everything away with special interests and lobbyists that has any appearance of a conflict of interest towards the campaign or his presidency. Now, he's made that very, very clear. So I'm not worried at all. You know, it's, it's unfortunate that uh, here we go again, sources say, same way uh, Mueller's uh, colleague, Comey, who leaked sources to the uh, press, you know, this is, this is not uh, really good for the American people, for the FBI, uh, to, for us to have a story saying, well, uh, our sources say and rumors says that it's, it's very detrimental to the American people for the, for the FBI to have their name just pushed around on, on anyone, for that matter. It, this, is, this is not good stuff. You know, it's, 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 it's not productive for the American people to have a bureau uh, that operates like this. And it's, it's not good, not good at all. All right, but, but not worried at all? Does it uh, speak a little no. bit to how polarized politics is there? Is that you as a Republican look, can look at all of this and say, yeah? No, I, I mean, I'm totally confident. You know, I believe in the president. I was there from the beginning, uh, June 2015. Um, he's done a tremendous amount, made a tremendous amount of strides, a 4.1 unemployment, 261,000 jobs last month. Um, in terms of him being in, in uh, Korea and Japan, pulling uh, all of our allies together to come up with a solution to stop Little Rocket Man over there from having uh, danger to our region. You know, he's done a lot, you know, and, and we're very excited about it. I think this whole uh, Russian thing is, is a is a waste of time, unfortunately, and of course we'll see how that plays itself out. We've moved on. We want the Christmas present about the uh, tax break that he's promising and that we hope we get. That's going to put a tremendous amount of relief on the American people as well as small businesses like myself. So we're still very optimistic and we're very excited and happy about the president and what he's done and his accomplishments. Uh, and it, Howard, despite uh, these revelations, whether they're true or not, it, it is can be called you know political dynamite for the Democrats. And yet, <clears throat> there is little evidence that the Democrats are going to be able to take advantage of it. I, I, I think we're not looking to take advantage of it. We believe we may well have a criminal in the White House. Certainly, his, his he has a special interest, interest all right? It's the Trump family and their investments. Oh boy! And we think there's substantial ability, that, uh, likelihood that he has laundered money. Uh, that's what the uh, his associates have been uh, charged with, and so this is a very serious matter. I don't think it's about politics, actually. I think most likely the leaks are. Uh, I think the prosecutor well, that was a, that's on the last a pretty segment had, had it right, though, isn't it? That's a what? pretty political it's not about answer, politics? Isn't it? to talk about. A I don't think. I don't. House. I don't think. I think it's. I think it's likely, and I think I'm going to be proved right in the long run. Look, you have a prosecutor who everybody on the Republican and the Democratic side believes is a straight shooter, mm -hmm. is a, a incredibly efficient, uh, and has been appointed by Republicans as well as Democrats. Now, he he is uh, playing a very serious hand here. He's working his way up from the bottom, uh, as he's going to continue to do. Uh, I think you're going to eventually see. Uh, either the Flynn's are going to plead guilty or they're going to do what Barbara said they were going to do, which is to uh, cooperate for some leniency. And the next step is going to be the Trump family itself. I expect that there's a good likelihood Jared Kushner will be indicted for launder money laundering. And then we're going to have to see how far the Russian involvement goes. This is serious business. These people are undermining our democracy. And it appears to me that what, the, what Bob Mueller is investigating is whether the president of the United States engaged with a foreign power in order to get where he got. That's a very serious matter for this country. Bruce, I just want to give you a chance to answer that. Well, first of all, uh, Governor Dean, I, I totally just, you know, I think that's very disrespectful to say there's a criminal in the White House, especially 
coming from uh, a DNC that's failing and it's in debt of three and a half million dollars. It's uh, chaotic out there. Um, the Democrats have no policy. And here we go once again. Um, they get pushed up against the wall. They chase uh, waterfalls and conspiracy theories to try to promote their party. But it's unfortunate that their party's failed. Uh, you know, here, for example, the RNC, we have $115 million in our bank account, and the DNC is bankrupt in debt. And it's just everyone's pointing fingers at each other and trying to point blame. And it's, it's so unfortunate because, like the president said earlier, you know, we are a two-party system, and we'd like to have some uh, some good dialogue and policies on the other side of the Democrat Party, and not the current leadership, which has been failing in the last uh, DNC election, you know, DNC chair election cycles. It's it's horrible, and it does a disservice to the American people because we want tax reform, we want good policies, we want good debates. We don't want to sit here and just have to go down the road with uh, another uh, uh, right. party, which is a representation of our of the United States. It's it does a disjustice right, to look, the American people. All right, Bruce, you, you Bruce, guys are in let, charge let, of let, everything, let, and you're not getting anything done. You've got the House, the Senate, and the presidency. You haven't delivered a damn thing except try to take away 8 million people's well, health insurance. Well, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Tuned, but this tuned, has nothing government. to do with politics. This has nothing to do with politics. The fact of the matter is, there you go again with the Trumpian defense oath. Look at what, but what about the Democrats? What, what about the Democrats? The issue is not whether the Democratic Party is a mess or not. The issue is whether the president of the United the issue States is. <laughs> was it's, in a conspiracy well, with the Russian government well, in order to get elected. That's what Bob Mueller is going to find out. It has nothing to do with the Democrats. We ain't, we're, All right, well, listen, Howard, Mickey let me Mouse, ask you Bob about, Miller, let me it don't matter. About the politics. <laughs> Howard, let me just ask you about the politics and those explosive allegations from former interim DNC chair Donna Brazile, including the revelation that she considered replacing uh, Clinton as the party's nominee with then Vice President Biden. You're the former chair of the DNC. Here she is earlier this morning uh, on a talk show <clears> this morning. <throat> This is a lesson of 2016. If I released it la next year, they would say, Donna, you're impacting on 2018. If I release it the following, Donna, you're, you're impacting. George, for those who are telling me to shut up, they told Hillary that a couple of months ago. You know what I tell them? Go to hell. They don't know what it's like because the, the, the high command of Brooklyn, the people who were making the decisions, even for the DNC, they didn't come and work with us. They told us to shut up uh, and basically let them win the election. Howard, are you telling her to shut up? Nope, I'm not interested in talking about 2016, except uh, unless the Russians interfere with our oh. 2016 mm. election. That's what I'm interested oh. in. We've got to put the, as the Democrats have got to put this aside and move forward and look forward. So whatever they want to talk about is in 2016. I'm anxious to get this country back on its footing. We can't do it with somebody who's at 33 percent in the polls and is not respected widely around mm. the world or at home. Hmm. So does Donna Brazile have a, a, any point in what she's saying? I, you know, I'm, I'm not going to get into that. I, I'm tired of people looking in the rearview mirror. I think we've got to look forward and, and fix this country. And it's not going to be done by the Republicans who control the House, the Senate, and the presidency and can't get a damn thing done except for tax cuts for people who are, have a billion dollars while eight million people's tax taxes go up mm. who are in the middle class. I'm sick of this stuff and so are the American people. And we're going to find out in 2018 when the congressional elections are up. All right, Bruce Lavelle and Howard Dean, I would love to carry on this conversation. We can't, but thank you both. I bet you would. The high stakes for, thank you. <laughs> the yeah. high stakes for he, President he, Trump's yeah. visit to Asia and what it means for the situation with North Korea.